Devi guys here for Nano Taz Chapter 179, A Pursuit and Hope, and Chapter 180, A Wandering Night. And honestly, I was really surprised to get a, a double chapter this week. I was, I was looking like the color page is really nice for Chapter 179 with Arthur and the Great Demon, him slicing it up. And then we got to see the confirmation of the cat being red. We also got some interesting stuff with the cat. But, anyways, back to double chapters. I woke up and went, what? Double, double chapter. I'm like, oh god. That's the last time I was double chapter, I believe 161, 162, which, which started me to review Tai's Eye. We got the reveal of Loxian, and I was like, oh, okay. So I was expecting something big to happen, and well, pretty much, I think it happened. The end of chapter 180. I, I did not say that. Come, we see Zara, Zara. Trust. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Zara Trust, the former captain of the Holy Knights, and he was pretty much confirmed dead from what we know. And it's it's kind of like hard to think like why he's alive because here's here's my two theories, my my two thoughts on why Zara Zara Trust is alive and and being able to like I guess like help them against this like Ten Commandments. One. I, something maybe Merlin has a big role to play in this because if you remember Merlin during that time when they with the seven deadly sins like ten years ago saw Zara just dead hanging like this like, crucified on the wall she was like my own political enraged and then Merlin took her memory so maybe Merlin did something to alter Melody's memory because I swear that event was just like only time we saw that event in the past was through Melody's mind. So maybe there's something more to that. Or my other thought is we haven't seen what Salt Zara Tristan magic is. So maybe this is some sort of role that his magic can do. I, I don't know, that's probably interesting that everybody think, but other than that, because we needed a heavy power force to face the tank commandments. Because we don't have that much. We don't have that much, but I don't know who we have. Harrison's weak. The, 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 the commandments, the, the, the commandments, the sins so far are like really the strongest the face of the commandments. If like Esquinor and we Bonnie because it's like his sacred treasure, but Zatras, Zatras, oh, I was not expecting this at all. Anyways, pretty much, oh, but the beginning of the chapter with Arthur and that cat, it finally happened. We, we find just a little hint at the importance of the cat. Cause it's got the cat on, on off his shoulder. Well, it used to be in his head, but it's on his shoulder now. It's just, it's just like randomly there, and we didn't know anything about it. It's like, oh, okay, it's just a cat. But then it finally talks, and even the Nash is like, oh, you're only that like, lucky or that strong because you had that cat with you. And I was like, this guy. And, and then the writing is like, and the author was like, oh, I want to get stronger. And the cat's like, oh, good old me wants to wish you get stronger to it. And the author's like, you, you talk, you said good old me. And Nash is like, that's what you're worried about. That was pretty funny. But anyways, I'm getting a lot of like hot vibes with that cat. Because there's something up with Hawk. We, we, we know that. Because when Melodus woke up 10 years ago, the Hawk just randomly appeared. And they used to have an old pet Melodus, but I think it was like a, a parrot. But then Hawk only appears talking. And then even though like, even Hawk even revived himself in the Hexen fight. So there's something up with Hawk and I just, there's gotta be a connection between that cat and then a Hawk. There's something up with like talking animals in Ty's eyes. Some interesting aspect of you don't really think about. So I don't know, I'm really interested to see where this goes and actually Arthur and that cat. Also, what if Arthur's minions, or like little followers, look like Santa with the beard and small? I don't know, that's just a random thing, but I was laughing at that. Anyways, so pretty much the gap, of it, the stuff in between the chapter is we see the former like, enemy Golga. So we didn't first know who he was because at first I thought he was one of the guys in like the first episode, but no, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, who is this guy? Because he's definitely someone we know, but I don't remember him. So I remember I looked up Golgas because I didn't really remember the name at all, honestly. Like, he was one of the guys who we fought in the beginning before we met Ban. It was like the city where the prison was held. It was a guy who teleported and like. Well, like Game of that first like cut around his heart and like his, his like body and then his demon side awakened so 
that's pretty cool like to bring some back so that was really nice like stuff uh nakama did anyway so we get to see Liz we see elizabeth come in the end of chapter 179 holding the beers they bring the guy in to cater to him the food is all like disgusting he's throwing up i i really got like the beginning vibes of thailand in this chapter is really 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 reminding me it's like we got the the boar's hat and and them catering with the beer the, the shitty food we see a hog we see a wandering night with daughters but we see a wandering night like the comparisons wandering night elizabeth daughters we see someone get taken in gogas elizabeth was taken in so it's really like kind of like a reset on ties it's weird like, i'm really interested to see where this art goes because the commandments are just a huge 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 threat anyways Goldie's about like he thinks that Elizabeth and the Hawk are gonna attack him. He's ready to attack because we got that one panel where it's like he's been running away. That I didn't think it was that bad. Where that if you were holy night and you were staying and any holy night, just like even a small like lower rank holy night, if, if you were staying anywhere, that people in the town would go after you because the Ten Commandments they were offering like you bring us holy night, we get to you get to be like spared for a little bit longer. So it's really like despair and like depressing and like the times are low i didn't think it was that bad when a low rank holy knight would be like worried for his life 24 7. anyway so he's about like attack elizabeth and we can see that i just i love those panels where nakama like puts like a like a face like not, not, like, not full face but like face like half body image and then it's like a little like i don't want to call it like flower not only really flowers but like a little like texture and like you can tell it's really an emotional scene where this is like if there's somebody to care for we'll care for we don't care what it uh, what their past has been but we will care for them and it's just a really really nice scene Golis leaves and we get to see the panel we see elizabeth like males we need you we are waiting for you please come back this this this, this time needs you and we see just unconscious i don't know not unconscious just a dead Meliodas just lying there. We're like, oh, he's he's still dead. He's still dead. And we can see that one page where Elizabeth's hugging him. She's like, I need you back. And so you, you look, I literally like start filling up the emotion. I'm like, no, this was two weeks ago. Please, I'm still getting over that. Anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts on the chapters. The cat stuff really interesting. Zodorus, I cannot, I still can't believe it. I still do not see him coming from a mile away he just came out of nowhere but i guess we needed some powerhouses to fight the tank commandment so i'm really excited to see what's gonna happen after because we haven't seen zatras like in the present time like at all in the series so we know like nothing about him maybe like his match maybe he knows something maybe he can even like train the seven deadly sins, the seven deadly sins we haven't seen some we still haven't seen like Ban King, Diane, Askinor, Gorthier, and whoever Merlin that we still haven't seen them so I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe even like Zodorus takes like a small fleet like King Diane and maybe like God of Gorth no, yeah, I guess King and Diane because those two seem the weakest out of me. So maybe he like he can train them. I would really cool to see we, de we definitely need to see like what happened ten years ago or really happened ten years ago. How to like Faraj and, and Henderson kill Zotrus because we know they betrayed him. Or, I don't know if maybe they maybe Zotrus can lose them. I really don't know. Anyways, really high double chat there. I'm excited for next week. Zotrus, the, the commander of the Holy Knight, chapter 181. This is Epic Eyes. See you next time.